And it is a warm welcome back to the show to Tyler Blayendahl, who is assistant coach of the Hurricanes. Thank you so much for your time, mate. Appreciate you. No, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, how's the uh, preparation been going all week? Yeah, it's, it's been a good week. Um, you know, I've had a full week to prepare and a good few training days. So it's a really exciting challenge for us to head up to Auckland this weekend. We're looking forward to it. It's a massive game, mate. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, um, yeah, look, we're trying to obviously one week at a time, but we understand it's a top of the table and a, a huge challenge that we haven't done too well in, in the past seasons up in Auckland. So, yeah, we've been gearing up for it nicely. Look, uh, I you know I vividly remember that game at the Caton uh, where they had the six-two bench split, and we were talking about that a little earlier on the program, mate. Just there was something really exciting about the Hurricanes that night, about a whole lot of young guys who played without fear, who just wanted to bash guys over, get the ball, score tries. Was that was that a signature or a statement game for your team? Do you think? Well, I think it was a a good expression of what we can do. You know, we've got a bit of talent across the squad, but we we like to play with that power and physicality and. Uh, like I say, a bit of freedom. And when the guys are expressing themselves like that, we look pretty dangerous. So, you know, it's something we'll be looking to do again. You know, and I don't know whether it's because it's the World Cup cycle, you know, and it ends and a whole lot of players go overseas in that. But there just seem to be a lot of young men there that are just playing without fear and putting their hands up and saying, I'm just going to play well and see what happens. Do you talk to your guys about those all black aspirations? Yeah, mate, that's, we're really excited as coaches to give our players the best opportunity to kind of make the All Blacks and I think you know when players leave like you say in those World Cup cycles it just creates opportunities mm, for them to mm. maybe get more opportunity and I think like you look at our loose forward trio there's a, a great bunch of youth but you know like you say a bit of fearlessness and just really good talent that we're seeing a bit more often so yeah, it's really exciting for some of those guys. Look, I mentioned that. There's a great quote from the old Man United manager, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson. He said, you know, players are players, but he said a young guy turns a corner. And what he what he means by that is you get a young, exciting player. I mean, everyone sits up and takes notice. Yeah, I think um, they're all feeding off each other as well. So we've got, I, I think we're quite a young squad. Uh, we lost a bit of experience over the off-season, but the guys are stepping into that leadership role as well, which kind of, you know, gives them a little bit more, uh, I don't know, there's, they seem to be playing, like you say, with that freedom, but they're taking on responsibility. So it's, it's been really enjoyable to watch their growth. Look, we had that young teenage halfback you've got, I think its name is TJ Pedernada on the show last week. And he's a, yeah, a young fella, <laughs> eh? He was just, mate, you could feel the enthusiasm in his voice, so that's what I really liked. He's got a new lease of life, it seems. No, he's um, yeah, he's still moving around really fast. He's got that same cheeky mouth on him, and um, yeah, the boys are loving having him around. And he's still got such a great work ethic and a want to get better, which is quite pleasing to see for someone who's playing nearly 160 games for the Hurricanes. Uh, 4:35 kickoff, mate, in Auckland. I can tell you the weather has been beautiful all week. It's been very frosty, but you get these fine afternoons, no sun. How nice is it going to be playing rugby outdoors in the sun? Yeah, no, that's, uh, look, if it's sunny, that's great for, for all involved, I think, and all the spectators. And, you know, we're looking to, to try and express ourselves and play our cane style of footy. And, you know, it's going to be a tough old ask against the Blues. They're pretty big and physical. So, uh, yeah, if the weather's great, that's going to be, I think, a great spectacle for everyone. Tyler, does it, does it mean a lot? Is it that important to finish first in the round robin to you or is it just important to actually clinch those home playoff places for, you know, semi-finals, quarter-finals and so forth? Yeah, I think home playoffs is a, a massive advantage. I think historically that's where a lot of the winners come from in Super Rugby, so that's the, the first focus. But I think just the, the kind of pride involved of having a top-of-the-table clash and trying to, you know, put a performance out there that gives us a chance to, to get those home playoffs. That's what we're looking for. But, yeah, we understand that if we if we do well, then that's at the end of the season. That's what we're going to get. And look, Wellington title town, a bit of competition because the Phoenix have got that home semi-final coming too. And I understand that they're selling a heap of tickets for that too. It'd be fantastic, wouldn't it, for the city to have two teams rocking semi-finals at home? Oh, that'd be awesome, yeah. I mean, it's great to have them in our training facility alongside us and we feel like we've really connected with them this year and Brilliant. it's been Brilliant. awesome to see the success they've had. And, uh, yeah, we're right behind them. That'd be great to see. Nine and one, both teams going with the record. How do you separate, if you're just a neutral fan, if you're just saying, hey, you know, okay, how do you separate these two teams, the Hurricanes and the Blues, who've been the two best teams all year? 
Yeah, mate, I reckon the Blues are, I think statistically, they're the best defensive team, really hard to break down. Um, they couple that with some pretty exciting backs on the transition attack. So uh, we're going to have to, I think, back our possession game, try and build phases against them to break them down. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have to match them, go toe-to-toe in the physicality battle. Yeah, because it's, it's, do, you, do you treat it like it's a final before a final? Is that how you treat this? I know that you've got other games to come in that, but is that, is that how you actually look at this game? No, we haven't looked at it as like a knockout final game. We just understand it's going to be the intensity of a playoff game, I think. And uh, we're really excited for that challenge and we're expecting it to be uh, the result kind of based on small margins. So we're going to be fighting for every for every inch and we understand we're going to be under pressure for periods of the game and uh, it's going to be great learning for us, you know, if we get into the playoffs that this game will kind of bode well for that and hopefully we do well as well.